Can anybody with a cool undertone find a really good bronzer at the drugstore that doesn't pull you and make you look like an Oompa Loompa orange? We're going to tackle that subject right now. Hi friends, I am sharing with you my favorite from the drugstore of bronzers and I'm also going to throw into here my contour that I use all the time that's from the drugstore. Now, this could be highly debatable about whether or not this is considered drugstore because honestly from Sephora collection, their stuff is like in between drugstore and high end, not in between drugstore and luxury, in between drugstore and high end. So I believe that these round colors are between 12 and $14. So what I want to tell you about this is I discovered this because of Trish Oliver here on YouTube. Great YouTuber, our age. She's just a really sweet gal. If you get a chance, go over and see Trish. Anyway, she is the one that talked about this and I was on that train like all the way because, because it can be so hard to find a dirty, muddy looking contour that doesn't pull orange when you're cool tone. You need something that's going to show shadow that's not going to bronze you up and bring you warmth like what you want from your bronzer. You need a contour that's going to be muddy and ugly. I mean, it's just going to look like mud and that's what this does. It looks like mud. So let me just swatch it for you. If you can tell what I have on and, you know, cutting out my cheekbones right here up in my high forehead to make that shadow. And that's what I need. I need a shadow that goes right here on along my jawline that makes me look like I don't have this puffy gel right here. It's all an optical illusion, ladies. I do have a couple of videos all about where to place it, what to do to help with, you know, double chin, having higher pretty cheekbones and a high forehead. I got a five forehead. Most of us have a high forehead, but I disguise all of that with contour a lot of times, and this is the perfect one. It is just, I don't care if you are somebody that is warm toned, this would still be the perfect contour for you because it is that muddy, deep shadow. It is something that's going to make that area that you contour recede, whereas highlight makes it come forward. Contour recedes, highlight forward. And so that's the concept, but you don't want anything that's gonna look orange or warm or anything golden anything like that so this is the epitome of the best contour ever now i do have a high a couple of high ends but as far as close to the drugstore price that's it the reason that i wanted to show you that is because there are others that claim to be around drugstore pricing this is from Focalore cosmetics this is their sculpt and glow and this color right here this is really close that again they're trying to achieve that dirty you know color or the color that doesn't have a lot of bronze in it but i'm going to show those to you right here look at the difference how much more warm this is than the sephora one and this is what I use for a bronzer instead of. So I don't reach for this. And there's so many out there right now that claim to be that color of the contour. But when you put it up against what color is an actual contour, you're really seeing that it's more along the lines of a bronzer. Pretty powder, really pretty powder. But I wanted to show you that even the ones that claim that they are for contour, they're really not. And another case in point as far as that goes is from um, essence. And this is one that I actually love this powder. It's a pretty powder. Even the powder over here, it's a beautiful powder. This one is for the lighter skin. But again, I'm telling you that this is a bronzer. It is not a contour. It is one of those ones that's going to pull um, a little bit warm. But what I do love about it is that when I want to warm up, which is what your bronzer does, it gives you life to your face. It's not um, going to be carving out cheekbones or, you know, double chins or anything. It is just something that's meant to give life to your face, light to your face, bring you a glow, that kind of thing. When I say glow, I mean just by the color, not by the actual product, because this doesn't have any glow in it. But this is a really, really good color for a bronzer. It can be built up and you can, if you're really, really light, you can swirl between the two. You could make a much lighter color. So I really do like this one as far as bronzers go. Another one that says contouring. And I want to just kind of get this point across to you. This is from Wet n Wild, which I do love this big pan of the this Wet n Wild one. But again, look at that. 
look at the difference. Here's my contour color. There's no way that that's a contour. So again, if you want to have a beautiful powder, this is a soft powder. It's pretty, but that is most definitely orange. I can't wear this, but if you're warm toned and you've been thinking about this, let me tell you, ladies, you have a warm tone. This is a beautiful powder as far as the way that it buffs out and as far as way, the way that it builds up. It doesn't look muddy. It doesn't look, um, it doesn't get you blotchy. And it's not really, if you are warm toned, it's going to be a good color for you. But again, it's not for me because it's much too orange. So I did want to tell you the quality of that one is good. Now, as far as what I choose for my own bronzer, I have three. And the first one is from Milani. This is O2. This is their, I think this is Sunkissed. Yes. And the reason is, is because Sunkissed, again, it has that muddy quality about it. So it's leaning towards cool. But what's great about it is it has warmth in it. So there it is right there. It's going to be more along the lines of the Essence one. I love how this powder blends. And I love how beautiful it glides across the skin. I love that you can build it up when you have more of a tan in the summer or if you're using a faux tan you can build it up on your face i love how you can sheer it out and again this would not be your contour color because we're comparing everything to this contour color right here this would definitely be that warmth that glow that you need that you really want to buff on your face and just have your face have that warmth that youthful glow to it that's one of what one of these does underneath a blush for me and then i also have from ColourPop. this is coconut beach this has come in and out of stock like crazy probably more than likely it isn't in stock right now but get on the email list because that's how actually i got it and i do love this now this has a little bit more of a red undertone which is good for somebody that has a cool tone to their skin you can almost tell right there between this one that we just did for the milani and this one it's almost looking a little bit more along lines of a pink of a more pink color so when i say it has a red undertone that's what i'm talking about so this is a beautiful powder as well i love all of color pops powders they just look beautiful on the skin they've done a great job of them and this is one that i highly have recommended over and over again i just wish that they'd come back in stock isn't that what's the worst thing about color pop Besides the fact that they have to come out with a new collection every week, just restock what we love and we want. So I just, I hope that they continue with this one. And then the last one is from L'Oreal. This is the Lumi Bronzette. This is the lightest one. Why I love this, I'm almost hit pan on this. Why I absolutely love this color is because it is most definitely a cool bronzer. It is not one of these that's super orange like this one. This is what I'm looking at. When I look at these bronzers, I'm thinking, okay, yeah, all of these are warming me up, but none of them are going to pull me orange like this one. So they've all got that quality of being able to give you a little bit of warmth, a little bit of sun-kissed tan, but they're not ones that really, you know, pull that bright orange that's going to make you look like you're an Oompa Loompa because you're a cool toned gal. So this one right here is out, but all of these other ones are great. Yes, the lid is busted. This thing is... I don't know how old this thing is. Anyway, the other reason that I love this is it's got just a little bit of a subtle, subtle glow to it. Now that, when I say glow, I mean real glow. And I, I think this is one of the prettiest ones that I have ever seen as far as being able to just glide across the skin, buff it in, make it just warm up the skin, and it is just a beautiful color across mature skin. I absolutely love this for mature skin. It's one of those ones that I think is so beautiful for mature skin. And I have worn this one for years, long before Milani ever came out, long before ColourPop came out. I was into the Lumi bronze it and I love it. And that's my number one choice actually from the drugstore for my coloring for if you want that little bit of extra glow to your skin and one that is not going to cause you to have any texture as well. Beautiful, beautiful product. So that's it for my recommendations. I do recommend this, but you probably should be somebody that is more along the lines of the warm tone. So I do recommend the wet and wild one, but so I wanted to make sure that I brought all of those to you guys. Thank you so much for spending a little bit of your time with me today. I hope that seeing my bronzers for my mature skin was helpful. By the way, this was a ColourPop brush that comes in a set 
with their, I think it's their original brush set. And it's really good quality and I love this one. So that's what I had right in front of me too. So thank you so much, friends. I'm glad that you were here with me today. Please give this a thumbs up on your way out of here if you did enjoy it. Everyone have a happy, healthy, sanitized day and I will catch you in my next video. Love you. Bye-bye.